ABC right here on KTLA 5. An administrator at Alhambra High School has resigned after a woman confronted her on the phone claiming she was the victim of her abuse when she played basketball. The woman recorded her conversation then posted it on YouTube. KTLA's Eric Spellman live right now from Alhambra with the details. Eric, good morning. Morning, Chris. This is really a remarkable story. A woman who is now 28 years old confronts her former basketball coach, who she says sexually abused her for years, beginning when she was just 12 years old. And she posted the entire phone call on YouTube. Did you realize that you brainwashed me and you manipulated me? And that what you did was wrong? Yeah. And I regret it. Do you know that I am completely messed up? That I have so many issues because of you? That is Jamie Carrillo of Victorville. She made the phone call to Andrea Cardoza, her former basketball coach at Chamawa Middle School in Riverside. Cardoza has been working as an assistant principal here at Alhambra High School. Carrillo says Cardoza sexually molested her for years, from when she was in middle school all the way into high school. During the phone call, which is posted on YouTube, Carrillo accuses Cardoza of ruining her life and ruining her childhood. Cardoza responds, I regret it every day. Carrillo says she posted the call on YouTube because the statute of limitations for prosecuting Cardoza has run out and she will never have to pay for the things she did. Our reporter, Sarah Welch, spoke to Jamie exclusively this weekend. I was like, what if I can get her to admit to it? Then, then people would know. And then I could send it to people. And so that's what I did. And it worked. I felt like a weight <clears throat> had lifted off my shoulders, but I was still sad. Like, I just, I was sad because, like, it was true. Like, it made it true because she admitted it. We attempted to reach Andrea Cardosa the assistant principal here at uh, Alhambra High School. We were not able to get any comment from her, but she has reportedly resigned from her job here at this high school. We'll have a whole lot more of this interview, uh, plus some reaction coming up later this morning. We'll send it back to you. Eric, aren't there some legal implications um, regarding her brave actions, recording someone in the state of California without consent, even if what she did yes. was brave and she was getting it out there? Uh, aren't there some legal implications? Yeah, technically you're supposed to have the approval or the consent of, of both parties when you record a phone call. Uh, we struggled with airing that phone call on YouTube because of that uh, situation. But uh, you know, whether she is prosecuted for that, I don't think she really even cares about it. She wanted to get this out there. She wanted to confront this woman, and that's exactly what she did. Yeah, absolutely a brave, very brave thing to do. All right, Eric, thank you.